everyone, I'm Angie Kellen with MCA Public Relations. Today I'm in Santa Clara, California for the 14th ISQED conference. Joining me is Dr. Rajiv Joshi of IBM. He's an IEEE fellow as well as an ISQED fellow. Hello Dr. Joshi, how are you? Very well, thank you very much. It's my pleasure to join you here. Well, we're very happy to have you. Um, can you tell me how long you've been involved with the ISQED? Well, uh, ISQED has done a major piece of work, and I have, it's my privilege to be part of this conference, and I have been with ISQED for more than seven, eight years, as in variety of roles. I started out in the program committee, uh, committees, um, as a tutorial chair, as plenary chair and variety of knowledge base uh, techniques we try to bring to ISQED. For example, when I was a tutorial chair, this conference main theme was to spread the education and the job was very well done by inviting all the distinguished speakers, uh, distinguished uh, uh, lecturers and come and talk about their expertise in this conference and give and, and educate uh, the audience or the attendees of this conference. Then we uh, branched out. Then I branched out to plenary session, uh, plenary session chair, and in that we also brought renowned uh, scientists, renowned professors, uh, and who have really contributed to the technical uh, arena uh, in this uh, silicon technology. Um, as a matter of fact. Uh, the uh, um, plenary sessions, uh, uh, session chair's job is really heavyweight job, and uh, bringing these renowned prof uh, professors or renowned scientists really brings the audience to this ISQD community, and that is what ISQD is all about: the education and bringing in up-to-date uh, knowledge and uh, techniques. Well, let me ask you this, since you're involved with all the technology here, where is the industry going? Well, this is a very, very good question. And um, as you can see, the list of these plenary speakers and their message to this ISQED conference, we can clearly say that the, the direction is all set by these guys. Let me summarize what these guys said. For example, Professor Chen, Chen Ming-Hu from University of Berkeley, he does not need any introduction. I mean, he's a very well-known, distinguished professor from University of Berkeley, and he talked about the device technology. And that is where the stumbling blocks are. I mean, people have said that the scaling is dead, everything is dead here, and Moore's law cannot, you know, move on. But Professor really brought out some interesting device strategies and he talked about FinFETs, he talked about uh, tunneling FETs, and there are some bold decisions that we need to make in order to empower this scaling deficiency. So that's what Professor Cheming Hu said. Then came Brad Brech, distinguished engineer from IBM, and he really talked about the smarter computing, how the smarter computing is essential in this world, in cognitive computing, in the uh, um, data volume management, uh, also the risk management, and all these three aspects, the smarter computing is essential. And many of you have seen IBM's Watson playing, uh, playing in Jeopardy game and defeating the contestant. And that was the message. So uh, the smarter computing indeed uh, is the way to go and there are a variety of things we actually are doing at IBM which can correlate to this kind of methodology. And then uh, <clears throat> Bill Swift from, uh, uh, from uh, Cisco, he talked about similar theme and Brad Brech said the platform that in the uh, networking area, uh, the Cisco is main player in the networking area and in that the reliability, data volume management, all these things are so critical in moving forward. So these are the directions. And then today, um, <coughs> Sanjeev Taneja talked about the 
the uh, impact of the synthesis on the uh, on making the chip uh, on on the chip industry how to start how to finish uh, a chip design effectively uh, take into account variety of parasitics uh, into uh, chip building and uh, the, from synthesis down to GDS2 he talk about uh, issues as well as solutions and then came our last speaker uh, <coughs> Uh, the Perry uh, uh, Goldstein and he talked about salesmanship we all know that when the customer says no the salesmanship begins and he talked about salesmanship is so critical in marketing and uh, and and marketing you any anybody's idea without that it is a failure but in order to generate an idea you have to first understand the market and then you do then you generate an idea and then you will be successful so all these messages are so critical in going forward that you need to have you know the quality you need to have uh, assessment of the market you need to have smarter computing you need, you can overcome scaling by these innovative techniques by uh, told by professor chen ming hu and, and so on so this is how this isqd conference you know creates really a bigger picture and gives bigger message to the audience. Dr. Joshi, thank you for sharing all that with us. And again, thank you for being part of putting this amazing event together and, and getting some of the world's leading top minds here so that we can all learn from them. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you very much for giving me the opportunity. Thank you again. Angie Kellen in Santa Clara for MCA Public Relations.